Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Lossi and welcome to another new color grading tutorial. And this is gonna be real, real fun. Uh, Cause I don't use any kind of uh, adjustment layer or camera raw or anything uh, conventional to color grade this picture in this tutorial. Okay, I'll use a non-conventional method to color grade a picture and you can do it in any picture within uh, maybe one minute or uh, 50 seconds 30 seconds it is possible okay so you can turn any picture cinematic just within a few seconds or a minute by this method so i will love this tutorial now let's get started okay uh we'll color grade this picture today and i have to give a cinematic look okay and you know i said it before we don't use any kind of conventional way to color grade so at first i want to copy the layer by pressing ctrl and j or you can drag it and release on this plus icon or plus sign to copy the layer i'm pressing ctrl and j and this is the layer one and now convert it to smart object okay maybe you already know the benefit of using this smart object this is a non-destructive way of editing you can always come back and read it again so i always love to do in a non-destructive way or in a smart object that's why i use smart object most of the time okay and now go to the filter option and then go to the render and click on the lighting effects yes i will color grade this picture using the lighting effects so click on the lighting effects so here it comes the all the lighting options okay and this is good but i don't use this uh right now so go to the presets option and here select the parallel directional okay so select this one and you will uh find something like this uh, it's a little bit 3d type of look but functionally you can compare it to the sun okay so let's see uh, you can see there is two handle because there is two light source you can say there is two sun okay so look at this come, come into the lights option and here the infinite light one that means the source one and infinite light two that means the light source number two and light one is intensity almost 100 percent and for light two intensity 50 percent okay go back to the light one and now just click the handle and drag like this look at this look at the source look at the source this one is your infinite light one that means the source one look at this click on the handle and look at this it will help you to change the position of light source so i want to put it here so you can say that this is a sun or light source one look at this but i don't like this bluish color and here is the magic you can change the color so go to the color option and pick your color like this look at this you can pick any color okay so i am going with little bit orange color i think this type of color let's see and now come back to the handle again and now look at this oops it's too much i think look at this look at the changes it looks fine it's too much and look at this one now look at this this source is underexposed okay but look at this look at this right now it looks beautiful i think yeah it looks really good i think this is fine this is very good let's put intensity 100 percent and for light two, this one i am giving this one let's i'm going to decrease this intensity a little bit not too much i think this is 
I think around 45% I'm giving 45% intensity here for source 2 and now look at this I think this is done I think it looks right to me so you can always control the source distance that means you can control the exposure and also the position of your light source that's very easy don't make it complicated okay just simple just drag the handle and position it in a suitable place change the color what you want and now press ok if you are done look it's done and as it is a smart object it comes with as a smart filter so you can always go there and edit again and also here you can change the opacity like this you can control the opacity so let's see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after let's increase it to 100 percent look at this this was the before and this is after look at this it gives you a little bit warmish color little cinematic vibe it looks beautiful look at this this was the before and this is after that's it it's simple just go to the lighting effects then select the parallel directional light and then change the color of your lighting source and place the source light on a suitable place that's it and it's a pretty simple and easy way to color grade so i hope you love this technique if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe